it's just not the thinking that you would want to hear from the CTO, right? You would want him to be saying, how do I get as many apps as possible onto my platform? From the messaging that you want to have, it's the wrong messaging, A. And B, I don't think that they actually have a lot of interest. Who's making an app for Flex? I don't know. I don't think really anyone's building an app for Flex. Back to traditional incumbent. Comcast. I really like this title. They fake Flex. Um, why do I like this title? Well, their, their thing, their, their, their box in the home is called Flex. And um, it's their video platform box. You know, it goes, it goes into the home. And this is their um, CTO, Matt Zalesko. He was talking about it and, and, and the future roadmap for it. And so they're saying, Zalesko said that, that, that Comcast is very deliberate about the apps it brings onto the platform. This would be a kind of like a development platform. If you think about like um, Apple TV, um, you know, the, the uh, Amazon like Kindle Firebox, um, where these are, you know, kind of like dongle units. And um, you can have TV apps that, that run on these devices. So he's saying Comcast is very deliberate about the apps they bring onto the platform. I'm not sure we'll ever throw the gates open and let all the apps in, Zalesko said. I don't know. It's just not the thinking that you would want to hear from the CTO, right? You would want him to be saying, how do I get as many apps as possible onto my platform? Not, yeah, we want to keep this thing, A, really controlled, O oh, and B, we're going to just start buying companies. Um, <laughs> so by the way, my reading between through the, the lines on this is that no one wants to build an app for flex. Who's making an app for flex? I don't know. I don't think really anyone's building an app for flex. I think people are building apps for Apple TV, for Amazon devices, uh, you know, Xbox, you know, the actual uh, gaming systems. I don't think Flex is really anywhere on the top of that list. If I'm a, if I'm a developer and I want to get distribution, I, I don't think that the development environment to make an app for Flex. And this is pure me stereotyping here. And just I haven't really looked at the technical platform. But. I just don't think that people are bursting down their doors and saying, hey, uh, let me go make an app for you. Um, I don't know if they've really figured out how to help people monetize and pay for these apps. How seamless is that? I can guarantee you the experience on this thing is just not as good as it would be on an Apple TV or any tech monopolies hardware in the home. And from the messaging that you want to have, it's the wrong messaging, A. And B... I don't think that they actually have a lot of interest. It just, it's much, much ado about nothing, basically. So, it's just more of the same. This stuff really just hurts the incumbents. You don't take them seriously when they say, oh, this is the innovation that we're doing. And you, you just start to analyze all of it with extreme scrutiny. And if maybe some of it actually is real, um, but the general industry is... Very good at puffing their chest, but not good at delivering. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.